today I would do just a tiny little six by six inch canvas um, in some nice light shimmery shiny colours with a bit of glitter in actually. I've already done the white and uh, <laughs> can't get my torch to work. Perhaps we'll just give up with that torch, eh? So I've already done the white and uh, I thought I would just sort of line them on really and I'm going to, after I've done that, put a bag on it just to make a bit of a pattern. We'll see what happens. I don't want too much yellow in this this time. It's a bit, a bit too much on my last painting and it did really come out yellow. <laughs> so I'll just put a little bit of yellow compared to the other colours. So I thought I would just sort of layer them up a little bit. And I always find that this technique works quite well in the end. You get quite a nice effect. This mixture is mostly just acrylic paint and water because I have run out of Floetrol. and yellow doesn't overpower. I'll put a little bit more of the other colours as well on here. I suppose my favourite colours out of here is the pink, the purple and the blue, but on their own they need something just to, uh, I guess, show them up a little bit more. Just try and even out a little bit so it looks a little bit symmetrical. It doesn't make a lot of difference when it's finished. So there, that's layered those all on. And now I'm going to put this bag on and um, we'll see what we get. I always say that my paintings end up looking like angry volcanoes by the time they're finished. I never quite know why that is. <laughs> just put a little bit. I always kind of try to do it symmetrical. But actually, in the end, it doesn't matter because it does its own thing anyway. Yeah, angry volcano is definitely a good description for the way my paintings turn out. Everything looks angry. Right, here we go. So I should put this on. My paint is all quite runny today, which is, again, mostly because I have completely run out of Floetrol which does help to thicken it up that little bit and keep the colour and uh, yeah so we shall see we shall see whether it's a good thickness or not but I really like these little six inch canvases because they're normally so pretty and because they're so small there's always somewhere to put them Right, yeah, let me just make sure I have touched all the way around there. Right, here we go. Oh, that's 
all right that does not look like an angry volcano i'm pleased to say i always tend to keep these bags because on the plastic it's very pretty as well and uh, sometimes i can use them for other things this one does have a bit of a gap in the middle but who knows? Sticky tape is quite good. Double sided sticky tape. Um, make your own cellar tape. Yeah, so that is looking quite nice. I don't know if it will move at all. Oh, it does move a bit, doesn't it? I don't want to move it too much and then spoil it because the paint, like I say, is quite thin. And I don't want it to go, particularly with the yellow, to make it um, <coughs> smudgy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'll do a little bit with my straw. It would be really good if I could get my uh, gas to work. I don't know why it doesn't. Turn it on. Yeah, I don't know why it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, try this one. Doing something wrong, but I don't want to. So I've got to figure that out. Right now, I? See some of that pink under there.
<laughs> yeah, it's really funny because a lot of my things do end up looking like explosions. <laughs> so I think I'm going to stop there because I like this little spiky bit. I really like the orange and the pink. A uh, tiny bit of yellow. I'm pleased it's only a tiny bit of yellow. The last one I did had so much yellow. Um, and yeah, I, I, I just like it. So nice shimmery blues. So yes, that is the way up that I think it should go, which I didn't know before I started. Um, so yes, I am pleased with that and I am now going to leave it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed having a little look at that. And uh, hopefully I will see you next time. Hello, my name is Penny and this is Penny's Art Emporium. I hope you enjoyed watching my video today. And if you did, it would be very nice if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to subscribe, then that would be nice too. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.